You ready for this? Wham bam, here comes Pam! Oh yeah! <laughs> Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kyra Simon, it's time to talk about everything in the new update. Now, I will be refraining from sharing my opinion in this video so that I can give you guys as much information as possible in as short a period of time as possible as well. I will be doing a 100% honest review in a day or two after I've had more time to kind of like soak some things up. Now there is simply way too much information in this update for me to go over every single detail with you guys. So I'm going to be sharing that information with you guys in a separate video. So make sure you subscribe so you do not miss any of that. Now first of all, the first thing that you notice when you jump in here guys is a big focus on the brawler. This is this is the, oh man, look at that. Oh yeah, you can even like check out Pam. Look at the back of her hair. Oh man, oh man, she's awesome. Let's go ahead and start this off by showing you all of the new brother artwork. Here we have the regular Shelly skin, the Bandita Shelly skin. Oh yeah, look at her frown, she's unhappy. Then of course guys, we got the star Shelly skin right here um, for accounts that have been played in Brawl Stars before 2019. You just go ahead and select that right there. Oh yeah, just beautiful. Here's the new Nita artwork, as you can take a look at that, as super slick. We also got Panda Nita. Oh yeah. Bull's new artwork, as you can see right there, three barrels. Viking Bull, he actually looks like a legit Viking, and check out that sweet shield on his back. You can see new icons for Jesse, Brock, and Dynamite. Here's Brock's new skin, as you can see. He's got some sweet, sweet dance moves. Beach Brock. Also some sweet, sweet dance moves, kind of carrying some sweet of some sort of sweet shark missile rocket. Here's Dynamite. Love that jump right there. You can get a quick look of his his chick underneath his hat when he's doing that. Oh yeah. Here we got Barley right here. Yeah, sweet. Does some sweet cool little like uh, square robot sort of dance thing. Golden Barley looks pretty legit right here. Same dance, but he's uh, looking a little bit more fancy schmancy. Then of course guys, Poco now has a new voice. We're gonna quickly show you all of those voices right here. I'm bailing. Hey, you broke my guitar. I got a bone to pick. You ruined my solo. Wow, dude. Whoa, like whatever. Not cool. Too bad, man. Wow, that sucks. Still friends? I'm stoked. I'm turning it up to 11. Poco goes loco. Feel the power of music. Let's get this party started. Give me a beat. Let's rock. Musical mayhem. Lead guitar for the win. Sweet sounds. Power chord. <laughs> oh, that's epic. Penny's also getting some voice changes. You ready for this? Here we go. Every single Penny voice. Great. <laughs> I gotta say though, I think the Pams are my favorite. Here we go. No! Oh, scrap it. It's just a scratch. Oh, mama's gotta rest. Oh, you'll pay for this. Nuts and bolts. Ah, ah, banana oil. Don't be crying. Nothing to salvage. Not tough enough. You got scrapped. Top of the scrap heap. This is my scrapyard. Rubbish rampage. Who's your mama? My tools ain't for fools. Let's get scrappy. Wham bam, here comes Pam. Come to mama. I'll fix you up. Repair, reuse, recycle. Come on, we can do this. Time to fix this mess. <laughs> So many great Pam lines. I love them. And of course, we got Leon, who is pretty epic. He's got that, got that little uh, sucker in his mouth right there. We'll just uh, put him in the background while we talk a little bit about um, this UI. So the first thing you're going to notice is right in the middle is where your brawler is going to be. There's a big focus on the brawlers in the game, which is really, really cool for them. And this is your game room right here. Okay. So all you got to do, you want to add somebody, and uh, there's a bunch of people that you can add. And look, here's what you can do. So you can actually not only like I can invite Ray right there, I can also join Ark's game room that he's actually playing with right there, or at least request to join. Additionally, anyone can now actually invite people to join the room from their friends list, even if they are not the leader of the team room. You'll notice your progress in the upper left-hand corner right here, where it'll show you your trophy road as well as your profile. 
that you can use to change images and stuff. Then on the lot left, we have the brawlers, which is just exactly the same. We also have the shop. We also have social. Um, social here, you can actually see your club. Bands are going to be renamed to clubs. And as you can see right here, we got uh, Cairo time here as the president. We've got a vice president in here somewhere. And then we also have a senior instead of an elder. In the lower left-hand corner, we have the new boxes, as you can see here. So we'll just go ahead and open up one of these. Boom. Sweet. Cool new brawl box. Additionally, keys are now going to be reverted back to tokens. So it now takes 100 tokens in order for you to actually get a brawl box. And it takes 10 star tokens to get a big box. And as you can see right here, that's a, that's a mega box, which is pretty legit. In the very bottom section here, we have the event slots right here, where you can actually see the different events. And there's a couple things that you're going to notice here. First of all, the special events are now going to have their own fifth event slot. Also, Boss Fight is actually going to be renamed into Big Game. And that also means the, the event mods are always going to be shown. And here's the coolest part right here, guys. If you click on the info section, it will show you an actual map with the current map active. But also notice here that Healing Mushrooms is a new event mod where Healing Mushrooms appear randomly and they will heal everything close to them for a while. I'll show you guys the gameplay of that a little bit later. Now, Supercell let us know that they were going to be adding some improvements to matchmaking. They didn't specify exactly what they're doing, but they did say that they're adding some improvements to it. So uh, excited to see how that actually implements or improves things. In the lower right hand corner, we have this friendly game room right here where we can then actually select any of the maps and also take a look at any of the maps, which is really, really awesome. On the side, we also have news. We also have your battle log and then additionally your leaderboard. So you can finally see the leaderboards while you are actually in a game room with friends, which by the way, game rooms are now going to be called team rooms. In the upper right hand corner, there is settings where you can actually like switch your language and stuff up to like 19 different languages and possibly even more on the way. And then in the upper right hand corner, we also have this little button right here, which shows you your club chat and your team chat. Now let's actually take a look at Leon. Take a look at that. Oh yeah. Sweet, sweet stuff. I'm going to show you some gameplay here in the background, but I did want to let you know that Lex and I are actually going to be doing some 1v1 Leon gameplay. So make sure you check out his channel and mine as well and subscribe so you do not miss that video coming out very soon. Now for Leon, I've already done a nearly perfect breakdown of Leon's stats in another video. If you do want to know more details about him, definitely check that video out. I'll make sure and let you know any changes to that video right here. So for today's rundown, here's the info that you need to know. For his description, it says Leon shoots a quick salvo of blades at his his target. His super trick is a smoke bomb that makes him invisible for a little while. Leon has an, a below average HP pool of about 4,480 at max level. For his attack, either going to be called Leaf Blade or Spinner Blades, Leon flicks his wrist and fires four spinning blades that deal less damage the further they travel. It's actually between 208 damage up at max distance up to 700 damage, which is just a little bit higher than I mentioned in my breakdown video. For his super, Leon's smoke bomb turns him invisible for 10 seconds if he attacks while invisible he will be revealed now this is actually two seconds longer than we learned from a brawl talk and this does not change based off of brawler level it will always be 10 seconds from level 1 up through level 10 if Leon picks up items while invisible such as a gem or power-up he will become visible for a split second additionally he also becomes visible for a split second if he takes damage if he is carrying the brawl ball while invisible he will also become visible and if Leon attacks while invisible he will lose his invisible visibility status and then become visible no matter how much time is left on his invisibility counter. When Leon is invisible, pets and turrets can not locate him. For Leon's star power, smoke trails, Leon moves faster while invisible. By the way, he can actually still move faster if his invisibility countdown is going, even if he's carrying the ball in Brawl Ball or picking up items or is being damaged. And his movement speed is incredibly fast when he is invisible, so that's definitely an option to consider. In the gameplay going on right now, you can see a healing mushroom gameplay where those mushroom circles will actually heal 1000 HP per second within the circle. That is actually the opposite of the smoke in Showdown, which deals 1000 damage. And yes, healing circles on top of each other can stack to heal 2000 or maybe even 3,000 damage per second. Additionally, while talking about some of these event modifiers, Life Leech changes all players that heal to themselves like Barley or Pam Star Power. That is now going to be reduced down to 75%. And if a 
player dies from life leech damage and is poisoned, the full HP will actually be given to the player that poisoned them. Now some changes to Robo Boss, which is now going to be called Angry Robo. The Robo Bot um, no longer is going to be able to see in the bushes and he will not be able to hide in the bushes. In Showdown, he will drop five power cubes on death and pets and turrets will now target the Robo Boss. Brawler will also, brawlers will also now be able to charge up their supers when shooting the Robo Boss, which is a huge difference. Now let's talk about Robo Rumble, where Robo Rumble is actually going to have larger maps the size of Showdown maps, and is going to have enemies attacking from all degrees around the safe, from all different directions. Additionally, the charge ability is going to be removed from high level melee bots to account for these changes. Here are some other changes. Obviously, every 3v3 map in Brawl Stars is being changed to be 4 tiles wide, wider. I will be doing a video where I actually break down all of those changes in all of the 3v3 maps so you don't get caught off guard from those changes when it goes live, because it does change some meta situations. Additionally, Brawl Ball is now going to have players spawning behind the goal. The goals are all moved forward about 2 tiles, and that is going to make it easier for the enemy team to score. But on top of that, you will also be able to kick the ball beyond behind the goal as a defensive play. Now, we have voiced our concern with Supercell about defensive gameplay being boring and frustrating in situations like this. Uh, they want to see how this actually impacts things first and whether or not it is actually an optimal strategy to do that. Either way, it's going to be an interesting change. Oh, also, teammates will now be able to see the direction that you are aiming the ball when you have it so that they can actually uh, use that to encourage more team plays. For heist, the high safes are also being moved forward a bit and now players will spawn behind the safes and respawn location indicators have been added to the game. Additionally, with sound effects when either, whenever somebody on your team or the enemy team respawns and there are different sound effects so you will know if it is an enemy or it is on your team. Also, some additional really cool changes to gameplay. Super ability Abilities can now be activated any time after they are charged. For example, if Pam, who has one of the longest unload durations in the game, decides to drop her turret in the middle of an attack, she will stop attacking and put down her turret, which may actually end up saving her life. Also, if your device has a vibration setting in it, that there is now haptic feedback added to make it easier for you to cancel your aiming. Once you go up and move your joystick and then you move it back to the center, as soon as it is back in the middle, your device will vibrate so that you know that you can do that without firing a shot. Additionally, guys, there are some really fantastic balance changes that are happening here. I'm super excited about them. Anyways, guys, there is a ton of content that I tried to cover in as quickly a possible time as possible. Once again, make sure you do subscribe to my channel so you do not miss future information on this update, including all the differences in the maps and more gameplay with Leon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for going the extra mile and helping to support my channel. And for now, this is Kyrostein ticking by, and we will see you in the update.